Yo, what is going on uh, guys? Welcome back to 10 minute tutorials. Today we are doing password attacks and how to create your own word list to specify and customize your attacks. Now, if you guys like this content, if you guys are liking the 10 minute tutorials, the try hack me's, and we are going to continue with the hack the boxes, please go ahead and hit the sub button. It helps out a ton. A lot of people watch the channel, but they don't sub. Um, make sure you join the discord because we are having a uh, actual contest coming up for a security plus voucher and that will be in the description below in the discord channel so let's go ahead and hop into it so there's two things we're going to do today the first one is use a tool called cool or cool however you want to say it um, and you can see it says missing arguments url so what we're going to do here is we're going to actually set it up to where we're going to use tr just tryhackme.com because it's an easy site that everyone's familiar with so we're going to say c e w l cool right and then we're going to say d for depth so this is how many directories down do you want it to go so what this is going to do is it's going to crawl that entire website and it's going to look for unique words okay so the reason for this is because a lot of people when they start working for companies they use certain lingo certain talk that you may not use anywhere else so they might use those for passwords so it's a good thing to start trying to pull unique words so we're going to say depth and we'll just say five because we're going to go five directories deep in the website and then from here we're going to say m for minimum now how many characters do you want the words to be i'll put eight because i want at least eight characters okay and so what we're going to do here basically is we're going to say we want five directories deep. We want eight characters long. So that's the only thing parameters that we're putting. And then we're going to say, whoops. So if you guys haven't noticed, I broke, you can see it keeps typing. I broke my keyboard and I'm going to have to get a new one pretty fast. So we're going to say try hack Okay. And that's it. And then we hit enter. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to actually assign it a, excuse me, uh, see, it just keeps doing that, but we need to assign it a, um, file name, right? So we're going to say W for right. And we're going to say, we want it to be, uh, we'll just say try hack me dot labs, whatever. Right. And you can see that's it. That's the whole command. Now I'm not going to run it because this will take an extremely long time to run because it's crawling every word on the website looking for unique words. So we already ran it. You can see there's try hack me dot labs dot text. Now we're going to say more. And if you see all these different words it found, okay. And they're at least eight characters long. So it found all these. Okay. And I stopped it early to be fair. It could have kept going for a long time. So now we have words, right? We might go through them ourselves. We might look for unique, you know, words that we want to find ourselves. That's one thing that we could do. And then if we go through them, we find the words that we want. So let's say we notice that there's, you know, try hack me's on there a lot, right? Let's say that wasn't the name of the company. That was just a word that we keep seeing. And we're like, that's weird. So now what we would do is we'd use another, uh, this freaking keyboard. I literally broke it this morning. It's driving me nuts. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to start looking at these word lists and say, okay, well now we, we have the words we want. We could just take this word list as is, and we could try it on passwords. Would it work? Maybe on one or two, you know, some people use re just regular words, but most people have, you know, whatever one, two, three, or, you know, exclamation point, whatever different variations of the words. That's what we're going to take the words now and generate them with a word list. So now we're gonna use a tool called crunch. So you can see crunch, this is a tool where you can take words. So for instance, let's say you're a Michael Jordan fan. You could take Michael Jordan's name and you could put different characters at the end of it. You could say Michael Jordan, one, two, three, exclamation point, Michael Jordan, you know, or exclamation point, Michael Jordan, one, two, three, so on and so forth. You can create this and you can give yourself off one word hundreds of thousands of characters that then you can go ahead and use to try and brute force the password. So let's say you find a person and you get their credential and their credential is Michael Jordan. We'll just keep using that example. Okay. Well, once you see that password, now you go try and use it on their email and it doesn't work. Well, you know, it's probably a variation of the Michael Jordan password because most people use the same password. So now you can create these word lists and keep going. So what we're going to do on this one, we're going to look a little bit more. We're going to look at the crunch 
the man page for the crunch and you can see here we'll go through this here but you can see it's pretty simple you use crunch then you say minimum length so the minimum length of the words that you're or of the word that you're going to create maximum length so this can create words from nothing so what i mean by that is you can just say i want minimum length of five and i want maximum length of length of eight and it's going to create everything from a to z that's five to eight characters long okay so you could do it that way or you could do it the way we're going to do it which is you can see here the tack t and then specifies a pattern so for instance if we wanted to do Michael Jordan, which we'll do here in a second, we'll put Michael Jordan, all one word, or we'll just put Michael and then Jordan. And then these at signs you see will insert a lowercase character and these commas will insert uppercase characters. So what we'll do, because most people start off with uppercase character, right? And then we'll say the percent inserts numbers and then the this inserts symbols. So what we'll do is we'll just say we want crunch Okay, and then we want the, doo -doo -doo -doo. we're going to go ahead and use symbols. So we want crunch, and then we're going to say minimum, and the minimum was what? Uh, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, and we'll just say three after, so we'll say 10 total. So the minimum is 10, and the maximum is 10. Okay, that's what we want. So then, yeah, we'll say T, and we're going to say we want it to be Michael and then we want symbols after so we want Michael and then we want to just do symbols after because that's what you know most people are going to do the symbols after so there that should create the just the symbols after right now we want to output it to whatever uh, Michael list it doesn't matter what you name it right that txt and we'll go ahead crunch will now generate the following amount of data so you can see it's going to take a long time Okay, so you might be wondering, well, that looks weird because there's spaces, right? But those spaces are special characters. You can see here, if you go up, now it's got two, and then as you go up, it's going to do three. And you can see this this could go on forever, but it's going to take Michael, and now here, like I said, it's got a space in it. If we scroll up, I don't know how far, let me scroll up. But here, there is no space. You can see it's just going question mark, boom, boom, boom. And it's doing every variation of it. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys because... You could take this and you can go ahead and create your own word list. You can do a lot with this and you could take the words from from the cool tool that we used and you could start generating your words list. Now, some people think the be the more words you have, the better, and that can be true, but really it's the more specific you get, the better. Um, if you The more information you can gather, the better, because if you do go ahead and create this word list, Yes, I could do this with Michael, then I could do it with Jordan, then I could do um, numbers and set symbols, and I could just do all kinds of stuff. Um, and I could really get specific in here and then put them all together. Well, then I might have a list of you know 200,000 passwords. If you have a good computer and you have the time, this is great because you can just test it all, sit back, and let it do its thing, and it might take a couple of days, and that's fine. But if you're on a time crunch, for instance, you're doing a pen test, you're trying to guess a password, but they're set, they say, hey, you only have two days to do it, then you might want to start getting more specific, more granular with your word lists and your passwords and try your best to get more information from them. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is look at patterns, right? So look at like how people normally do. Normally, people are going to do a capital M when they do Michael, right? They're going to do a capital M. Then they might do an exclamation point at the end. Um, instead of the I, they might do, you know, a one. You could do the words list like that. So like this one here, this isn't very big, this word list that we just created. So we could do another one with the exact same parameters, but they instead of the um, instead of the I, it's a one. And then instead of an L, it could be a one and so on and so forth. You want to get very specific. You want to try and guess these. Um, but this is a way to generate a lot of passwords when you know somebody's information about somebody and you can really, really, really get really good at this. Um, this is a whole skill in itself and I recommend you guys play around with it, get passwords, um, especially with the contest that we're having coming up soon. I'm just going to say this will probably help you. So hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully you guys hit that sub button and thank you guys once again. Bye.